Hello, my name is Gary Cardell. I'm a faculty member here at Savannah Tuckman College, and today I'm going to show you how to make fresh pasta from scratch. So first things first, you want to mix up your eight ounces of all-purpose flour, eight ounces of semolina. Now the semolina, that's where your structure is really going to come into play with your, with your pasta. We're also going to add in uh, one pinch of kosher salt and our extra virgin olive oil, we're going to mix this with our five whole eggs. So I'm going to mix this in a separate, that was one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. We're going to crack our eggs in the bowl. And now that we have our, our whole eggs and our extra virgin olive oil in here, I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. That way it's a lot easier to be able to incorporate this in, into our flour mixture. You can do this with a fork. You can do this with a whisk. We're going to go ahead and mix in our flours to make sure they're nice and evenly incorporated. What you want to do is you want to kind of create a well, so kind of develop the, the, the center of that. You want to kind of to work it up almost like a volcano, if you will. We're going to mix up our eggs one more time. I'm going to add in about 75% of the egg, or the liquid. The idea behind this is that since we have our well, we're going to be able to start to incorporate the flour and kind of bring that into the center uh, with our liquid. Once we get it majority, of, uh, once we get the majority of this thoroughly mixed, we're going to go into our hands, and we're going to kind of that's where we're going to be able to evaluate the, the feel. I'm going to add a little bit more of the egg mixture. That should be good. Now again, I'll still have to evaluate this whenever I get it to the board, but at least that's gonna give me a good start. Okay, now I'm done with the fork. So if you can tell, the majority of this is pretty much mixed thoroughly. However, I've still got some pockets of flour that I'm gonna go ahead and work that on the board. So the goal here is for us to be able to have a nice homogenous mixture. And what we mean by homogenous it's just like you buy homogenized milk in, in the store. You know, if I take one part of the of the dough on one side and the other part on the other side, it's going to be a, a, exactly the same. So you definitely don't want this too dry and too, or too tacky. Okay, otherwise it won't mix correctly and it won't form correctly. Okay. So by the act of kneading, what I'm doing is I'm actually flipping it about 90 degrees, actually folding the top down and pressing with the, with the palm of my hand. Okay. So 90 degrees, push down. As you can tell, the flour that once was on the outside of the, of the pasta dough has now worked its way in. Okay. And once you, if you work this continually more, what you're going to notice is once you flatten it back down, it's starting to come back to the center. That's actually, you can actually kind of judge the gluten development process on that. Right now, there's my, there's my pasta dough. So it shouldn't be very uh, tacky. Uh, actually, whenever you, I know I've got flour on my hands, but if you, if you touch the top of the dough, uh, it shouldn't it shouldn't stick to it, right? So it should be feel nice and dry on the outside. At that point, what you want to do is you want to wrap that in plastic and set that in, in the refrigeration uh, for a, around 30 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes, and then we'll be ready for our next step.